metro levels No dancing with devils, no fellow with rebels Some digging with shovels, they digging, they digging, they digging real deep Some humble, they harking, they listen, they me Some praise the most high seven days of the week Some put in that work and go teach in the streets Some just come to take up the air that we breathe Some come just to take up the space that we need They're spiritual levels, they're spiritual levels They come in on shapes and the suns there's several This is Baruch chapter 4 and verse 13 Bring it out they know not his statue. What does it say? Yeah, they know God. not his statue. They don't know. They don't know God. You don't even know God because you don't know what God is about. Go ahead. Right. No walk in his way. No what? No walk in his way. When the last time y'all kept Passover, Feast of Unleavened Bread? But I guarantee you celebrate Christmas and Thanksgiving and pagan holidays. That's what you celebrate. Go ahead, man. I just want. I want to say I support the message. You support it? Yeah. What is our message? Spread the word. What's the word? What's the gospel? The, the, the food, that's the spirit. The food of the spirit. See, look, you better make sure you know what we're saying before you come up here. We out here saying the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the real chosen people of God. They're the real Israelites, according to the Bible, right? So everything you see that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going through is God's judgment upon us for disobeying his commandments, right? So what you got to understand is Christ was sent for one specific people. Did you know that? You know, you ever read the Bible? You have? Have you ever? Give me Acts 5 and 3. Drop that, give me Acts 5 and 3. I don't got to spit a verse. I don't got to spit a verse. No, no, no. We're about to spit the verse. You don't have to spit any verses. I'm about to say, I ain't going to read Give me Acts 5 and 3. We're going to see what you think. You never heard You never heard that Christ on the can for one people. I know you can't get his people. We're all his children. We're all? Okay. Give me that. All right, this is Acts chapter 5 and verse 30. Go ahead. It says, The God of our father raised up Jesus, who ye slew. And hang on a tree, right? Him had God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. Oh, everyone. To Israel. To Israel. Keep reading. And forgiveness of sin. So what is repentance? And why is he saying that Christ was sent to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins? That's my question unto you. So what is repentance? Yeah, what's repentance? Repentance is what's sin. What's sin? Human nature. Human nature. Human nature. It's first John 3 and 4. I mean, I feel like we all sin, obviously. Um, but it's up to us to acknowledge it, um, hold us up accountable, and pray to God. You know, that's the forgiveness. And not only just pray and then go back and do it again, but you also have to pray. Find out what makes you feel like you're going to say, you have a sense of Alright, this is first John chapter 3 and verse 4. Right? Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is when you transgress God's law, breaking God's commandments. So sin is not something that just you think is just doing bad, or I don't know what you came up with sin in your mind, but God says sin is breaking God's commandments. Now who were the commandments given to? Everyone, so when Moses got the commandments from God, who did he give them to? Did he give them to everyone in the world? Who did he give those commandments? Give us Psalms 147 and 19. Disciples? I mean, you can call it disciples, it just means follower, but give me Psalms 147 and 19. Whoever got it. All right, Psalms 147. I'm going to show it to you. I mean, I didn't want to come right here and like that. I just want to pray for y'all. We'll get it back. No, no, no. Psalm 147, 18. He shows his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He showed his word and his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He read. He has not dealt so with any nation. So God is not dealing with any other nation outside of the nation of Israel. He's made it clear. Right? He read. And for their judgment, they have not known. And they've never known God's judgment because God has never judged them based off the law. Right? The only people that were ever expected to keep God's laws were the Israelites. They're the only ones that made a covenant with God. You might not know much about what I'm talking about because probably in church they probably tell you not to read the Old Testament. 
Well, no, I, I just, you know, we, I go to a Spanish church. You go to a Spanish church? Yeah. So, what you mean by it's like a Catholic church? I, I really don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? Okay, so, so let me ask you a question. What's your nationality? someone else's child you, you wouldn't right so God is punishing us because we're his children give me Amos 3 and 2 that's why you see let me ask you where's the punishment that's happened for this well, I got my question is you say all the African Dutch Haitians Dominicans blacks Hispanics and Native Americans is a group so the white people fall no, I'm not, 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 a, not a color thing, yeah. but if you're actually going back to the ge genealogy of the white man, Esau, no, you would not only the white man, the Asian man, the Arab man, any people that doesn't go back to the Israelites. So you're saying, so you're saying God's law, but you said if you're breaking that sin, yes. you're saying God's law doesn't apply to me because I am a new miracle. You've never been expected to keep because you've never been in a covenant. So a covenant is something you make with blood, right? The old covenant you've seen with the blood of the lambs, the new covenant you've seen with Christ, right? Those covenants, right, are given as a basically a contract, right? God made a contract with the Israelites to keep that covenant. So, let me ask you this. Who do you think the new covenant, who do you think the new covenant is for? No, no. I know, I'm going to read it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say anything. Give me Hebrews 8 Give me Hebrews 8 Nathan. Hebrews chapter eight. 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 Verse eight. For finding fault with them, right? He said, "Behold, the day come, said the Lord, but I make a new covenant." But the new covenant, Hebrews, with the house of Israel, with who? With the house of Israel, and with the house of Israel, and with the house of Judah, right? 
So the, even the new covenant is applied to the house of Israel. There's never, there's not this big world religion. That's not in the Bible. What, what people have took in the Bible, right, that was meant for one specific people and applied it to literally everyone in the earth. And that's why Christianity doesn't teach the main four things of the Bible. Let me ask you this, do you eat pork? Now, do you follow God? Now, give me Leviticus 11 and, 11 and 7. See, these are the sins. You, you can't even say you, you, you're repenting if you don't know what sin is. You, you have to know, acknowledge your sin first before you can even move forth th towards repentance. How can you repent if you, if you don't even know what sin is? Give me Leviticus 11 and 7. That's why Paul Leviticus says, chapter 11, verse 7, and the swine, though he divide the hood, right? and clothe and have and be clothed footed. Right? Yet he choose not the good. He is unclean to you. Swine is unclean to you. That's pig. It's unclean to you, keep reading. Of his flesh. Of their flesh shall not shall thou not eat. He says, of the flesh shall you not eat. Same way God said, you shall not commit murder, thou shalt not steal. He said, thou shalt not eat this. Can you read? And their carcass shall they not touch. So if you even see a dead kid, God commands you can't even touch its carcass. Right? Yeah, keep reading that. They you, are read. Do you eat shrimp and lobster? And keep read. Of their flesh and not, I mean, these are the, these are you, uh, what you can eat, all that are in the water. Right? Whatsoever have fins and scales. So whatever you eat out of the waters, no matter what type of water it is, it has to have fins and scales. So no shrimp, no lobster, you can't eat alligator. You can't even eat fish that don't have fins and scales. So you can't eat catfish, you can't eat shark, you can't eat anything. See, God has commandments, right? And these commandments were given to his people. Now, it would be a sin for me to break them. So in the biblical days, you know that you can eat fish and bread. Yeah. They have a fish. They eat fish with fins and scales on it. They would have to. Yeah. What else would uh, you give us the commandment? Like, unless they were sinning. See, this is the thing. And I'm sure you probably never heard that. Have you ever heard that? Why do you think you never heard that? You've been to church. You're going to the Spanish church. Why haven't they taught you? Why haven't they taught you the commandments of God? Because their goal isn't to teach you the commandments of God. It's to make you think that God's this world religion, that he's, this Bible is just, you can just believe in Christ, and you don't have to do anything that's in this Bible, and you're good. You gotta follow the Bible. But you just said, you just admitted you didn't even know anything about it. I mean, I know everything. Do you know everything? I, I, I don't know everything. But you're let willing me, to learn Let me ask you this. When's the last Passover you celebrated? The Feast of Unleavened Bread. The Feast of Tabernacles. Never celebrated one, have you? The First Fruits coming up. Feast of First Fruits. You never celebrated those things. But let, let me ask you, how many, how many times do you celebrate Christmas? Or Thanksgiving? Where's Christmas in this Bible? Or Easter. Or Easter. Where's those things at? Those are pagan holidays, worshiping other gods. But you do that because really in reality, you're not worshiping the God in this Bible. You're worshiping another God. That's what I'm trying to show you. Oh, you but would you, well, let me I ask you this. I also know they birthed God, Jesus. I also know oh, where's, Santa Claus coming to my chimney. Again. Where is in the Bible where Christ said he was born in Christmas? Where's that at? I mean, that's kind of how That's superstition, man. That That's fake lies. If we go back and look it up, bro. <laughs> You find out that it's good. No, no, we laugh at things. No, we do not go get eggs and play. We celebrate the things that are in this Bible. See what you got to do. You got to. You really want to know? It's just really pagan holiday. Put it up on your phone. Google it. It's hard. It's gonna say. It's gonna say. It's not hard. It will tell you. These are. It goes back to an ancient pagan feast called Saturnalia in Rome, where they used to rape women and give presents and do all type of manner of evil things. But you will do. You'll still allow you to celebrate that, but I guarantee you, you came and you said, "Hey, I want to celebrate the Passover." They gonna look at you like they gonna say, "Oh, that's done away. Oh, that's the old thing. You don't do that anymore." The, right? Christ, the Christmas tree represents Nimrod's penis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's all type of manner of evil. What, what is? Where's Easter egg hunting in this Bible? Where's that at? Where's Where's the dressing up like a bunny? I don't celebrate. I celebrate Jesus rising again. But that's not what you're celebrating. You don't do. That Easter to I celebrate. Go Easter egg hunting. I go to church and I spend time with my church though. See, see, this is the thing, you not you're misunderstanding. You're letting your feelings and your emotions dictate how you feel towards God. God is telling you specifically what he wants you to do. You can't just say, oh, I think I'm doing good by just being around good people. That's not in the Bible. God tells you, He tells you what days to celebrate. And Christmas and Christmas and uh Thanksgiving are not one of them. 
So you don't, so this is why I, I challenge you because I don't think that's what I told you. I don't think you really know what we're teaching. We're teaching the real, real thing, the real thing of old, the one the prophets Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Amos, and these are these are the messages they really talk. And you, your message has been obscured. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And that's why you don't know about any of these things. And you you couldn't never figure out any of these things because they're not teaching you those things. Why would they teach you that? Let me ask you this: Do you think homosexuality is wrong? It took, like, why, why it took so long to say that? See, this thing. See, yo, that's how I know it's your emotions. If there's some homosexual people out here, you might have stuttered for a second. Me, we wouldn't have stuttered. I'm not, I'm not gonna say you hate them. I'm not gonna say you're like, you know, beat them. Like We're that, supposed to hate evil. When things are evil, you're supposed to hate that hatred for it and love the good. That's Amos five and fifteen. Huh. How, how you gonna pray? What you gonna pray over somebody that's taking rod up the butt? What, what do you you? You think God can work with you? There's certain things you have to utterly detest, or the whole every everybody will be messed up. I mean, I can't pray for you because God doesn't work with me. No, no. Listen, what's prayer? Pray. The Holy Spirit pray. You pray, but the Holy Spirit prays for something. Deep. Okay. So do you, do you think when you pray, God's hearing your prayers? You sure about that? No, Give me, um, you know what I'm doing. Uh, prayer. Y'all hear the prayers. Let me get Before you start reading, is that okay? What, what's your testimony? So, God doesn't need my prayers, right? I woke up, you know, pretty close. You know? No, it's like a chapter, right? And, and I woke up, and it was just in my mind. I, you know how you, you get something in your mind, you're like, all right, I'm going to go about my day. Well, I tried, and it just kept going up. I was like, all right, so I got to church. I sat down, I got my knees, and I prayed. I was like, look, God, this is where you want me to go. You know, just let me know. Now, tell me why I'm sitting in church, and I hear, go, my son. You heard go my son. Go my son. I mean, you know, you kind of... I mean, that's what you said. Oh, yeah, man. So God talk. God talks to me. I was going to say we're having a whole conversation, but I, I do believe that whenever I pray, he hears me. So you just said that you don't even know about his laws. Do you think God hears prayers of people that don't know his laws? Can I say prayers for me? Anybody? Boom. Here's the one. Listen to this. Give me, um, you know what I'm doing. Okay. Not the prayers. Oh, you want Proverbs? Yeah. You want Proverbs or you want? It don't matter either one. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. Right. He that turns away his ear from hearing the law. You turn away your ear from hearing the law. What does God say? Even his prayers shall be an abomination. No, God's hearing. Even his prayers shall be an abomination. So if you go back and you keep, you keep eating pork and shrimp and lobster. And celebrating Christmas and Thanksgiving. You can think all of your head breaking. You don't even know this. When's the Sabbath? It's one of the Ten Commandments. You don't know that. It's the seventh day. What's the seventh day? Saturday. <laughs> See, the thing. God said he's not hearing your prayer. You can think in your head if that's what you think. Okay. But I got the I got the justice right here. The justice is God's not hearing prayers of people that's not doing whatever he told them to do. Why would he? Would you listen to someone that, would you, would you help out someone that's not listening I to you? I can't compare myself to God. That's the thing. You don't understand God. I can try to live like Jesus, but I can't compare myself to him. I never, I would never live up to him. But you're supposed to be a follower. Right. You're supposed to be comparing yourself to him. Right. You're supposed to be looking at your life and comparing your life I to Christ to at all times. I can't sit here and say, oh, I, I, I'm going to live like, I mean, I was not trying to live like Jesus, but I'm, I can't sit here. You're not say trying to live like Jesus, though, because you just submit, you just submitted, you don't celebrate any of these days. That Jesus celebrated. Jesus celebrated Passover. He celebrated Feast of Labor. He didn't celebrate Christmas and Thanksgiving. He didn't dress up and, and have Easter hunt, bunny hunts. That's not in the Bible. He didn't dress up in green and celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I, can't, I can't talk to God because I don't have melanin in my skin. That's, nothing that, I, that's the first thing I told you. There's people who look just Israel, like you Israel. that are Israelites. So you keep check, thinking of making a black white no, thing. That's, my that's why I said Asian and Arab just sort of sent you for a little while. But it's anybody outside of the genetic Israelites, the ones who went through the Red Sea with Moses, are not God's chosen people. That's just facts. Read the Bible. But if you're, I, I've met people like you, and I can see now, you're going to continue your life living in your illusion. And once you continue your life living in your illusion and completely rejecting everything God said, you're going to, everything I'm saying is going to come to pass. Right? Because it's not my words. It's God's words. He just told you. All right, man. Alright man, have a good <laughs> anti-social social club. Alright man. <laughs> see, see this is the thing. 
people don't know anything about God. Your God is made up in your head. You, yourself is your God. Because once we start reading what God is really about, very few people even know what we're even talking about. It's a foreign thing to them. That's because they're getting rocked to bed every Sunday in church. You don't know anything about what God's talking about. You don't know his commandments. You don't know about his word. Okay, well, come. We'll talk, we're talking about the Bible. God discouraged your child. God discouraged your child. I, did I ever say my own words? Or did God speak? You have a problem with God. Take it up with God. Not with me. Take it up with God. God discouraged your child. God discouraged your child. I didn't say anything that God didn't say. You have a problem with God. This is the thing. People have a problem with God. You don't know God. You don't have nothing to do with it. So stop saying that you love God. Stop saying in your, in your bio and Facebook, I'm a believer in the Bible. You don't know anything about God. Who? What? what? See, all these men of things, things you've been taught. You just said, I just read God's word and you said it. I, I discouraged your child. I didn't say anything God didn't say. This is the thing. <laughs> people don't know God. Right? Specifically our people. That's why you keep living this life full of just madness, man. Full of fairy tales telling your child that when you leave a tooth under the pillow, that oh, a damn tooth fairy gonna come and get it. Telling them lies. But I'm the one that's tripping. What? But you the one telling your kid, oh, it's a tooth fairy, son. Yeah, just put it under the put it under your pillow. That's not in the Bible. That's not true. Even you know it's true when you sneak in there and put the five dollar bill under the pillow. <laughs> you know it's true. Uh, just like with Christmas, you you taking bites of cookies. Talking about Santa Claus came through. That's not in the Bible. That's a lie. And that's not real. It's lies, and you know it's lies, and it's been lies since the beginning. And once we tell the truth, you got something against it. 